Hey friends, Bobby Conway with Cross Examine. Every day, multiple sets of parents are confronted by their children with the two words, I'm gay. For some parents, that's grounds for a celebration. For others, it creates shock and confusion. And for some, it creates panic, fears, guilt, and perhaps even anger. Given the increased number of Gen Z's identifying as LGBTQ+, the chances are all too likely that many parents feel utterly ill-equipped on what to do in the event they are faced with how to parent a non-straight child. If that's you, or if you know someone in this situation, here are 12 practical tips to keep in mind. First, in the event your child comes out of the closet, remain approachable. The last thing we want to do is send our child back into the closet due to our inability to keep our child feeling safe in our presence. Second, express appreciation to your child for being vulnerable enough to entrust you with this sensitive information. Third, assure your child that you are there for him and will help him walk through the implications of this. Fourth, refuse to make his confession about you. For example, don't blame yourself or make this about what you could have done differently. This moment is about your child. It's not about you. Not in that moment anyway. Fifth, don't minimize what your child is revealing to you by saying something like, oh, this is just a season. It soon will pass. Don't sweat it. That could just make things much worse and it can make your child feel like he is a nutcase, at least in the moment. Six, don't tell your child not to tell anyone. Sure, provide wisdom regarding who to share this with, when to share, or even how to share, but don't tell them not to share. We all need companionship. Telling your child to remain mum is another way he could inadvertently experience shame. Seventh, while I'm sure you'd like to see his orientation changed, be careful to not put all this emphasis on changing him. Don't put all your eggs in that basket. Why? Because studies have shown that changing one's sexual orientation is highly unlikely, and it's easy to see why. For example, imagine if someone told you to change your orientation from straight to homosexual. How would that work for you? Ain't happening, right? Eighth, in your attempt to provide comfort, resist the temptation to compromise your own biblical convictions. Being there for a loved one should never mean forsaking our beliefs to do so. Ninth, help your child not to define himself by his sexual orientation. That's because our identity entails so much more than our sexual preferences. Drill that into him. He's going to need a good biblical identity to remain secure through the challenges ahead. Tenth, Remember, the most important piece in all of this is to keep your relationship intact with your child. You'll have to navigate what this looks like in the context of your relationship, but whatever you do, aim to remain as close as possible as you can to one another. Eleventh, develop a game plan together. A lot of this will depend on where your child is in relationship to the Lord. If he's a Christian, hopefully he will want to remain faithful without acting out. If he's not a Christian, then he may be ready to go all in with the LGBTQ plus movement. Each of those postures will require a different game plan, a different strategy. So be wise. While both plans will be hard, the latter one will certainly take greater skill to navigate. The plan would include things like counseling, some books to read together, how to best go about revealing this to others, anticipating both negative and positive responses, and how to deal with feedback. And of course, anything that you can do to add or to reinforce your relationship will serve you well. Finally, I would say, if your child suffers from gender dysphoria, avoid making any rash decisions especially as it relates to getting a sex change that may turn out to be a massive regret down the road. While I don't have any children who identify as LGBTQ, I have been in ministry for many years and have had to help my share of parents who do have kids struggling with each of the letters in the LGBTQ plus and growing acrostic. Though there is much more to be said about each point, and more points could be added as subpoints to the main points. Hopefully, this little crash course of tips for parents is helpful. 
Please share it with others if you would be so kind and be sure to check out my other social media handles as well as cross-examine for more content like this. Thank <laughs> you.